global happenings today, we communicate, we analyze global news. Stay tuned. From what we gather, um, this issue of coastal Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway is not going to end in a hurry, as Atiku Abubakar have revealed to many Nigerians why uh, there seems to be so much haste in making this happen. And it looks as if he's not only just saying it, he's also bringing out facts and figures and indicting the presidency in the process. We're going to find out what it is that Atiku is saying. Remember, in this whole drama, Peter Obi spoke, Atiku spoke, but nobody talked about Atiku's own, but everybody still hampering of Peter, um, Peter Obi's matter. But let's find out what it is that is causing drama right now on social media and of course my colleagues in the house as well will look at this very critically but but before we go into the news kindly subscribe to our channel uh click on the red subscribe button beside it's a bell notification icon please click on it to get notified as soon as you update our channel on youtube now the former president the former vice president rather atiku abubaka has revealed why lagos calabar coastal highway is being done in a hurry by the administration of Bola Ahmed Tunubu. Now, recall that criticism has been trading this administration over this project since it was revealed by this administration. Now, article in a statement by his media advisor, Paul Ibe, revealed that Tunubu's son, Ashi, is a director on the board of CDK Integrated Industries, a subsidiary of the Chagori Group, which manufactures ceramic tiles and sanitary towels. Now, citing a report by Paris-based African Intelligence News Agency, where it was revealed by the Corporate Affairs Commission that she is officially a business associate of Kadgari, the former vice president said, it was not surprising that Chagori Group has become the biggest beneficiary of the Tinubu Legacy. Now, Atiku advised Tinubu to focus more on attracting real investors than adopting propaganda as a state policy. The former vice president said, thanks to quality reporting by Africa Intelligence, our suspicions have been confirmed that Kagori and Tinubu are indeed business partners and it has been formalized with Sheyi on the board of one of the Kagori firms. Article reinstated that it has become obvious, even to the undiscerning, that the purely that the purely because of the business relationship between Tinubu and Gilbert Calgary, the owner of Hitech, the contractor that was awarded the contract for the highway project in contravention of the procurement laws. It is on record that this project is the most expensive single project ever embarked upon by the Nigerian government. The fact that it is happening at a time Nigeria is facing its worst economic crisis ever is a red flag. To add insult to injury, this project that is being done in excess of 13 billion US dollars was awarded without a competitive bidding. From all indications, the so called Badagri Sokoto Highway will be awarded in similar fashion at an enormous cost to taxpayers, purely because Tinubu has put his personal interest ahead of the Nigerian people, Atiku said. Now, Atiku further said that the demolition of tourists. And recreational facilities and other properties within the Oniru corridor, including parts of landmark, without ample notice, is one of the reasons foreign direct investment continue to elude the country. He argued that rather than improving the ease of doing business, the Tinubu administration has shown to the world that his personal business interest and that of his family would always be prioritized over and above national interest. Now, according to the former People's Democratic Party PDP presidential candidate, Tinubu has been globetrotting in search of foreign direct investment. He claims to have secured over 30 billion US dollars from various companies, but none has been forthcoming. Rather, all manufacturing firms have been posting heavy losses while some are exiting due to its purely implemented exchange rate unification policy, with even Ali Kodangote describing it as a huge mess at the recent annual general meeting of Dangote Refinery, Sugar Refinery. Now, the IMF, in its latest report, stated that Nigeria will be the end of the year, become the fourth largest economy in Africa behind South Africa, Egypt and Algeria, a disgraceful development for a nation which, which was the largest in Africa by a mile when the PDP left the stage in 2015. Investors are seeing how local businesses have been treated 
they will not come to a place where their investment will not be protected. In Senna claims, businesses such as Landmark would have been given at least two years' notice in order for effective planning. But Tinubu's eagerness to satisfy his business partners impaired his ability to coordinate project properly. The awarding of the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway was rushed. The environmental impact assessment report was not even completed. The right of way for the 700 km stretch of the highway project was not secured. It was converted from a PPP to a government funded project within the twinkle of an eye. The 500 million naira that was approved by the National Assembly for the project was ignored, while over 1 trillion naira was released by the administration without approval from the National Assembly. From firstly claiming to have re removed subsidies to secretly paying billions monthly based on the revelation of NASA Aerofire, the Tunable administration has shown a lack of coordination and transparency, failing to even explain to Nigerians why there is petrol scarcity across the country. The former vice president advised Tunable and its economic team to do less of propaganda and focus on improving the ease of doing business as this remains the surest path to sustainability. Those were the words of uh, uh, Akti Kwabubaka, the former vice president of Nigeria, via his media person. What's your take? Uh, well, the, the issue of uh, the Lagos uh, Calabar Coastal Road uh, has been heavily debated on the social media. And uh, someone says, one to the Namdi, who says he's the voice from the street, says that he was privileged to have a look at the plan and. He saw almost 180 bridges will be built, which is so much. And uh, most people believe that it's absolutely out of place for such to happen because already we have many bad roads, federal bad roads, you know, federal roads that are bad. And such money should have been channeled, you know, to fixing it. One of the, the, the roads that is most talked about is this east-west road which is running through more than uh, six or more than five to six states. And uh, they are like, man, this road should be fixed. Uh, that east road, uh, east-west road should be fixed than rather trying to create a new thing. But then, uh, don't forget that this east-west road was uh, uh, awarded far back during Obasanjo's regime, you know. And uh, being done since Obasanjo's regime, I think Mbala Metinibu here is trying to see how he can start up a project that his name will be, you know, inscripted on it. That's why they're pushing. Yes, we are sure to see all of these, that his son is on the board and all of that. But I, I think what Nigerians are really looking forward to is the road being done and being fixed. But then I, I think that considering the situation of the economic status of Nigeria right now, uh, that money would have been used for something better, you know. At least let's use it to fix all other uh, roads that are like traps now, you know, than for you to focus on uh, pushing for a, a new road, which, yeah, it was going to change the narrative for most business people. But then I think it's not really needful this time around. Well, some persons on social media are saying that um, the same thing was also said during the time of uh, the former president, uh, Buhari, yeah. where. Um, we didn't need it. It was not important. Nigerians also needed money desperately. We're even borrowing then. When he built that railway to Niger, okay, it was absolutely unnecessary. We had no business running there, but he built it anyway. And uh, like we can we say, heaven didn't fall. Okay, and um, we are still we are still moved on. Somehow we're paying those loans one way or the other. I guess also, like you rightly said, maybe at uh, Bola Metro is trying to do something, a legacy also, yeah. that um, even Southern we'll too, for, you, know, you know, if you remember it was as if it was done for the North, for the North and North. this one too, we should do something quite big for the South. South you know? Exactly. You know? So if you want to look at, let's look at it on, on the other part as well, because even when Nigerians was screaming that, what are we building railway to Nijay for? <clears throat> fell on deaf ears. So yeah. just maybe to, of course, there will always be gains here and there, but yeah. let it be that it is completed. Okay, so some people believe that it would never be completed, that the project is just a way of destroying people's property. Another uh, of the opinion that it's not going to be completed, that they will use um, so much money will be revolved around the project and all of that. But I, I feel that at this point, they sit back and watch. After all, 
whatever that is being done right now is in Nigeria. Talk less of what happened in the days of Buhari, who had to exceed Nigeria and to go Niger. outside to Niger. to Niger. I mean, heaven did not fall, you know. As much as I'm not happy about what is about to happen, because that money would have been channeled to, you know, more productive uh, infrastructure. But then, if he's going to do it and he's going to give us results, because that's what, what I'm personally interested in. If Tembola Medinimo would do it, give us the result, man, in future, Nigerians will be celebrating it. And if you look at the way it's going to be done, uh, it clearly shows that he's, um, uh, it's going to take the test of time. In other words, it's going to, it's going to last long because based on what Umar is trying to do, it's going to last long and all of that. So that's well, just However, one thing I do know for sure is that um, be, whatever will happen, it is going to be in Nigeria and we're going to see the results, whether completed or not. Some persons are even calling out... Uh, I took up back and said, during the time of Buhari, when they were building that railway, no, but you didn't complain, you didn't say anything. Well, then that's his, his personal opinion. This is subject to his opinion. That's going to wrap it up. We could go on and on on this, but let's yeah. find out. Do you think that the president, Bolama Tinubu, is doing this just because he has the love of Nigerians and he believes that this particular major project will turn the economy of Nigeria for the better? Or do you think this is just a political way of uh, Atiku Abubakar trying to bring down the administration of Bolama Tinubu, trying to paint it in a different light, let's interact. This is all about Nigeria. We are Nigerians. What's your take? Have a nice time. God bless you. Bye.